Hello, welcome back. This is uh, the third part of the Battle of uh, Platier. It's 479 BC and we are seeing a pretty epic str struggle between the uh, Persians on that side with some Greek allies positioned there in, on the battlefield uh, against the uh, Spartans and the Athenians and Basically, the Spartan wing has been eliminated by the Persians, but the Persians took quite a lot of casualties uh, in the effort to break the uh, Greeks here. Uh, here we haven't seen that much action. Uh, some skirmishing, eventually uh, the Greek allies of the Persians uh, decided to start retreating towards the center and uh, the Roman remnants, so to speak, there. And well, the Greeks are following, or the Athenians are following. Uh, we have, though, some guys left behind here. Uh, the leader Andromachus with some hoplite units there. I don't know if they will see any action. As for the situation in victory banners, we have four for the uh, Spartans and their allies, and we have three for the Persians. So, pretty evenly matched. Uh, and as you can see, we have a lots of we have a lot of depleted units out there. Um, the once proud Persian cavalry has been reduced. They have all the units left on the battle board, but all of the cavalry are down to one block each. So, well, I, I'm I don't really see how to continue. I mean, both. These guys could clash with each other pretty soon, I believe. They are... They have not yet seen action, so I think we'll see a clash there. Uh, Thebans have gone up here, take a position on that hill as, then, as an anchor, and then they have some other units... Uh, uh, yeah, a support, as a, I could say. But... If you look at the quality of these troops, they are pretty much even. Two medium infantries and two auxiliaries. Uh, plus for the Athenian series, they had the leader, and those guys have actually taken one casualty from earlier skirmishing. So there we stand, and uh, it's the Persians' turn. And they have actually two line commands in their hand now. So, I will actually start uh, this battle now. These lines, phalanxes, will crash into the, each other now. So, we play the first line command here. We activate these guys. And I will come down from the hills now. We got the first strike on these guys now, so even though we are a bit weaker, we get to roll the dice first. That's good. So we go down here and I will go there because now in next turn I know I can activate the line command again. If the line is kept, uh, uh, well, if they keep being adjacent to each other so we can activate ho that whole bunch again, then um, then we could use this card again with the same, uh, same type of attack as now, but also including this unit that cannot battle now. So, I will actually hit these guys on the flank. I kind of wanted to start here. And follow it up by that. Yeah, I think I do that. So we start within the auxiliary combat here. It's three dice. And we did inflict two casualties here. Two blocks down. And we actually forced them to retreat as well. So we were a bit lucky here. And this time I will press on actually. I will go there. So the Thebans are... I think they, are, they were Thebans. They are... Uh, um, forcing their way into the Athenian lines now. And we had the other, other attack mediums. So we got four dice there. And 
okay we don't have a leader with us but we anyway did inflict two hits which is not bad that's really good and we also need to check the leader loss no they are fine so and since they stand their ground that phalanx will hit back and they did inflict three hits and that's enough to eliminate so this was this is bad news for the persians because now the line is broken and even more they gained another banner so that battle back was not too, not too good to be honest so the thing is that the Greeks only need one more banner now. And the Persians are struggling to, to gain those banners. They, it's, it's very hard to gain those. Uh, but it's not easily, easily achieved here because we have two units in full strength. So uh, the Athenians must do really good if they want to win this in one blow. Okay, so let's see what they have. They have the counterattack. I think that could be a good good thing to play now, to be honest. Because we have the line intact here. Even though those guys retreat. Yeah, so if we play the counter-attack now. This means all these guys are activated. And we march up to counter the Theban offensive. Uh, Yeah, I'll leave those guys there. I think yes, I will because I will hit with those guys first. Or will I? Will I? Thing is, if I miss, they will hit back. They can actually kill me. On the other hand, it would be nice to get two hits up there with mediums against this full medium unit there. Hmm. All those dilemmas. Well, let's do it like this anyway. These guys don't have any options. They have to f battle against those guys. So they will roll four dice and they also hit with leader symbols. And we got one hit. It's not a too impressive initial charge from the Athenians there. Because now the Thebans will fight back. And they did inflict two, two hits on these guys. So. It's a carnage out here. And now comes the question. What should we do next? I do actually think... No, I'll take my chances. I have such a good lead, so I can Okay, would the Persians get another banner for I am losing this? Let it be so. Uh, I have a good chance to weaken these guys and depending on how good I roll, I can then decide... Uh, I can then decide if Aristides with his phalanx will attack the mediums or the auxiliaries. I mean, even if they retreat one hex, we can still attack them. So. Let's do the auxiliary attack first. It's three dice. Uh, we got... Ah, we are not adjacent to the leader anymore. So we actually only scored one hit. Otherwise that would be in an awesome roll. Uh, but those guys have a gap now to their leader. Okay, so the Persians will now hit back. And they did... Uh, get what I feared to hit so I am eliminated here uh, And they gained that banner, but as I said that was kind of a Sacrifice to see who who we could attack here uh, With these last phalanx we have here. It's a weak one only two, you know, so I don't want to get uh, too good of a battle back therefore I will choose the auxiliaries as my target. 
So it's four dice, I need three hits. Or I need them to retreat anyway so I can hit them again and by that maybe win the battle. And we got two hits and we forced them to retreat. So this is exactly what we wanted. Two down, they are forced to retreat up there. Uh, but we can momentum advance down here and attack again. And now we only want, need one hit and this battle is over. Yeah, that's how it is. So one hit needed. And this is what sometimes happens in these games, right? I mean, one hit, including uh, the leader symbol, would be enough. But we didn't get it with four dice. It's crazy. But we got two flags. So somehow these guys, the remnants of these guys, managed to <laughs> run away much faster than they can, these guys could keep up. So they... <laughs> All right. Crazy. Crazy and not good for the Athenians because now they have two weak units here that could be ripe for harvest by those guys. I will though advance, or will I? I think I want to do that. There's one good reason for that. I mean, now I'm, I'm in striking range again, right? And next time I can activate, I know I can activate uh, uh, Aristides with this card because they will start locating the center. So I could move up and finish that off. So the Persian actually needs to uh, get that guy into safety and that for that he needs a correct card, right? So we are putting some pressure on the Persians by that uh, move. But I fear we can lose... Uh, this, is, this, this is gonna be tough. It depends on the cards as, as usual. We know they have another line command and now they also have two on this flank. What to do? I could play the line command for those two units and basically get that aux uh, auxiliary unit away and we still can put some fire on the approaching Athenians there as well with a bow unit there. I think that's a good good thing to do now. I just have to do that. The other option would be to play two here. We could fire there, maybe get the banner by that and somehow get that guy too. But that's too risky of an operation. We could do a charge with the light cavalry there, roll two dice, hoping for a blue. So if we get that and we get that, the game would be over because we could get two banners, which would give us six in the end. But it's too far of a reach, I think. So it's uh, it's not good. So I will, I'll play the line command, go for the safe solution here. I'll activate those guys. Um, Or maybe I should start moving up another auxiliary instead, instead of firing with those guys, I mean. That could be an interesting option. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I will not fire this turn. I will actually activate those guys down there. We need some more power up front now. So these guys will now march up here. They are now in striking range. And these guys can now escape back to the baseline there. I fear for this unit though, if the Greeks will or the Athenians will hit those guys, they can be it can be pretty dangerous, but I I think the primary thing was to get that loan block into safety back there. Okay, so let's see, we have, we know we can activate in the center with the 
Okay. We have three in the center, or two on the right hand side. I'll play the three in the center. Because I will. Uh, I'll activate Aristides and I will also. As my second attempt to, I mean, I, I need one more banner, right? This could be the one, this attack, with some good rolls. The other slight chance we have is to attack with the bow unit here, and also move up and throw some javelins against that two block unit there. So we'll move that up these guys one hex. These guys will move back to here. Attack those guys, and uh, we have two chances to actually get one more banner, and that would end the game actually. So, where to start? Let's do the close combat first. We start here, we have it's the new charge of Aristides. He has four dice, he needs three hits, or at least a flag, so he can hit again. Okay, that's it. We got four hits this time. Last time we got a bad roll, this time we got an extremely good roll. So these guys got destroyed. And here's the last banner. Okay, apparently in my games here the Greeks are invisible. They they uh, well, it's hard to beat them actually. I don't know. I have a few bad rolls with the Persians again and a few unlucky cards, card draws. But again, you cannot you cannot just blame that. It's uh It's um well all over it's uh, it's maybe a better quality of the in, in the troops of the, of the of the Greeks or or the Spartans in this case. So, but this was a, anyway, a more close, close battle. I mean, both sides could have won this, uh, as I see it. I mean, the, the, these guys start being so weak, so if that attack wouldn't gone well, well, then we could have retaliated with the, with the Persians. What did they have? Okay, they will have a but, um, double time here actually. So we would have gotten at least those two, if that medium infantry has survived, that and that auxiliary could do a joint attack somewhere. Uh, ah, anyway, it's only what ifs. But this is how it went. These guys never saw any action, kind of felt like that would happen. But it's a it's a good reserve anyway to have there if if the Persians would have started pressing here too much. Uh, so I think this could reflect kind of the historical result. Uh, it was a hard battle. Both sides took a lot of losses, but in the end the Greeks won, wrote to the Persians, and now they are in full retreat. Uh, back to Ah, back to their fort. Uh, I think in history they retreated into the fort and there was a slaughter in that fort when the Greeks approached and uh, you know they cornered the, the per surviving Persians there. Uh, but uh, Artabasus and his guys who were located here in the beginning, these auxiliaries and some other guys, they at least managed to flee and back to their homeland eventually. Um, so, this, uh, oh well, one, one difference from history is that uh, Mardonius actually survived this battle. In history, he didn't. But in this case, we have actually all three personal leaders 
still in the game. <laughs> All right, but anyway, this ends Xerxes' invasion of Greece. Uh, but simultaneously as this battle was fought, there was another battle happening in Ionia, uh, kind of related to this, and I think I will play that next. Uh, so more on that the next time, uh, and I hope you will be back then to see what happens there. There will be some more actions between Greeks and Persians. Um, and uh, after that I think that we are ready with that that war of the Persian invasion of the Greece. Okay, so thank you very much for watching and uh, see you next time in another battle. Thanks and bye.